My internet's trash. It's still broken. I actually told my internet service provider that I was having issues with my upload to Twitch. So uh, they made it you know, really consistent across the board. Instead of fixing my ability to connect to Twitch, they just broke my ability to connect to everything. So now my upload is, ter is terrible just on every site. So that's good. Luckily, though, we've got uh, Ben So, Ben. Um, but yeah, he's, he's broadcasting today. So shout out to him. Uh, wouldn't be able to do this stream without him, quite literally. Uh, so, with that out of the way, let's jump into game number one of Amad versus Joyo. I think that they're both ready. They should still both be here. Had to get them waiting a little bit. But best of five in a matchup that I've never seen before. These two are not the most active ones players. Amad used to be. He actually came onto the scene as a ones main back in the day. Stream sniping scrub killer. But these days, they, I think, are probably both around about top 40, top 50. 1v1 ranked players, if I were to guess. Now, as to pick a favorite for this, I might actually lean towards Amat. Uh, Joyo has looked very impressive. He's been learning ones very quickly. Uh, but Amat has got that ones history that I think just, it makes it a bit easier for him to know what to do in random situations that only come up in ones. Uh, whereas I think Joyo is still learning how to react to those immediate positions. Well, Amat's gonna be up by one here. Almost got the Nightmare bounce off the post, but instead he dusts Joyo to the ball. Launches in a long shot. Poker 64, thank you for the 74 month tier one. That is all the months. That is uh, very kind of you, my friend. Ahmad's been this. Good read by Joyo. Ahmad definitely didn't get the right line um, for the fake kickoff. Oh yeah, the the colors will be wrong, won't they? Yeah, I've got to, I've got to flip that. Hold on, I know how to do that. Boom, flipped. Had it flipped for a different match. Now it should be correct. So, if you're if you've never seen Ahmad play one once before, what to expect from him in offense would be similar to, well, one v one players like Daniel. I would say Daniel's a very well known ones player, of course. Ahmad will attack similarly to him, but for defense, it's uh, kind of a more of a more of an aggressive style of defense. He's very, very all in all the time. And when he gets rolling, he's tough to stop. He's had some destructive performances in the past. Very tightly demo there. And I think that if Ahmad does peak today, just his experience historically will uh, make him the favorite. But he's never been the most consistent one player historically either. Joy, Joy is going to give him a nice shot for this one. It was a nice little cut in field. Joy, no doubt, not expecting this one, but I think he should have should have been in a slightly more advanced position for that one. As Merrick, thanks to the four month tier one. Also, Delagila Louis is the 17 month tier one. Scott Slots, no, Scott Slots, sorry. I see 11 month prime, a brand new prime from Suds. Su Sudva Swag. Probably said that wrong, but I appreciate you, man. Welcome to the channel. So that's a lot about Ahmad. What about Joyo? So why, why has he been learning 1v1 so quickly? Well, number one, he's just a natural when it comes to Rock League mechanics. He's a free play main, you might say. Used to be a freestyler. Plays an absolute metric ton of free play. And uh, 1v1, if you think about it, it's kind of just like free play, except with another player in the way. Uh, if you just if you play it like free play, you can turn into a player like Jory is. He just kind of ignores what his opponent is doing. He just does his own thing. And uh, if he's playing well, he's difficult to stop. But right now, it's all Ahmad. He's been dominating the 50-50s. He's been controlling the possession. And Jory hasn't really been able to influence the game much at all. One of the kickoffs went his way when Ahmad landed slightly out of position. But here comes Ahmad again this time. Off the ceiling. Goes underneath Jory's free jump. He is just so hard to read. Joyo had no idea where this ball was going. Can't really blame him. Ahmad's got a flip to work with here. It could be top right. It could be um, a dunk. It could be just a complete mind game. The fact that Ahmad always has multiple options is what makes it difficult to defend against. You never know what he's going to do. He's just one of the most difficult players to defend in every game mode that Rocket League has ever seen. You'll see him popping up in streams, playing twos, ranked every day of the week usually. And he's just one of those players that if you give him the ball, he'll just put it in the opponent's net with an extremely high success rate. Now that he's in 1v1, he can do that relative ease as well. Defense has never been his strong point though. Let's see what he could do against another 
one of the most deadly attackers in the game. Joyo, I'm able to sneak that one in the near post gap that I'm had left open. And he will skip up past him in the infield. And that's the first Joyo possession play leading to a goal for 4-2 score. Oh, sorry about the lag, guys. Uh, it, it seems like I have infected every connection that I've touched. It might be an issue with Twitch as well, so just uh, do refresh if there is lag in the video. Oh dear, Jonas missed that one completely. Ahmad puts in his fifth goal of the game. He didn't need to work as hard for that one as he thought he would. Uh, guys, can you spam one in chat if we're still consistent? Well, can you still hear me? And uh, spam two in chat if my mic is... Okay, so you can still, you can still hear me. Oh, that's good. We might have to, after this game, switch Twitch server because I think Twitch servers have been pretty unreliable in the UK recently. Um, we might try a new one. But yeah, just uh, keep us updated, chat. If it continues, if it's, it, 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 yeah, okay, it's working now, but if it continues to be an issue later in this game, uh, we'll just switch servers. We'll just go offline for a second and then come back. Uh, it looks like Amad is just running away with this one. Join us at one, get one goal for midfield play. And the rest has been all Ahmad. He's dominated the ground game, dominated the aerial game, and really denied Joyo any ability to pop off. Yet to see that big aerial game from the Englishman. Very controlled kickoff style for Ahmad today. He's just trying to avoid losing kickoffs more than anything else. I would describe what he's doing. Not too concerned about winning kickoffs. Just trying not to go not to lose them big. That shows that he does feel very confident. Going up against Joyo toe to toe in the midfield. Here comes a monster pre jump. It's a fake from Ahmad. Joyo's a bit off target. Just narrowly misses with a tight angle flick. Ahmad will show him how it's done on the open net. 7 2. Bit of a careless display here from Joyo in this setup. He's told me before this game, and I think it's fair to point this out, that he's not touched 1v1 for a while. I'm not sure if Ahmad has. He didn't uh, mention it to me, but Joyo did say that he's not touched 1v1 in a while, but he was down for the match just to see. How we would get on, he's just trying to test himself these days. Like I said earlier, he's only picked up 1v1 very recently. And he's uh, such a natural at Rock League mechanics that when he gets a bit better at the positioning and the decision-making aspects of 1v1, I'm sure he could be one of the best in the world at it. This game has been completely amad. It could be even more his with another reset. Oh, that's gorgeous. Amad. Just scoots the ball to the bottom right corner. We have to watch this from your POV, Joy. I'm sorry to make you watch this back, but you'll uh, see the brilliance of Ahmad when you look at it from Joyo's POV. Joyo worried about the high shot. He's worried about the quick acceleration of the ball. A lot of players in that position will just wave dash and then uh, shoot the ball straight forward. Crazy pre-flip pitch from Ahmad to get some distance on it. He's only got 14 boosts to work with. That's not enough against Joyo's offense. But it shouldn't matter in the grand scheme of things. If uh, Ahmad can just keep up these kickoffs, he's been pretty safe with the kickoff strategies. That's not his best one, but it will knock a couple of seconds off the clock. He doesn't concede immediately. And he might concede after one or two touches. Joyal's missed it, though. That'll be game. Ahmad did enough in game number one here. Very controlled performance. The... Uh, Popped off an offense like we expected. But he didn't go all in all that often. He really picked his spots very well. Didn't give Joyo any big counter attacks to work with. Right. Uh, quick question, chat. How are we looking for connection? Should we try a new Twitch server? What do you reckon? Type 1 in chat if you think we should just keep running with this. Type 2 if you think we should switch. Joyo's going to change car here. Mostly 1s. Okay, I think we'll just stick. There's also the chance that we switch Twitch servers and it doesn't make a difference anyway because Twitch servers have been pretty unreliable recently. So I think it might just be trash regardless of whatever we do. Yeah, the microphone will sound a bit different today. It's not uh, going to sound normal. Because usually when I'm streaming, I'm just coming to you live through my OBS software with full quality, full audio quality. But today we're coming through Discord. Um, so it will sound a little bit different. Yeah, I, th I think that that will probably just be... I'll probably just be part of 
coming through Discord, unfortunately. This is not a long-term solution. Uh, this is a short-term solution. Just going to repeat for anyone who is just tuning in right now as we get started with game number two here. Joyo going to switch to the Fennec, trying to improve his 50-50 game, perhaps. But yeah, to recap on exactly what's going on here and why I'm uh, coming at you through Discord today is because my internet is just completely shot. I told my internet service provider that I was having problems connecting to Twitch, and they said, oh cool, Let's, we could fix that for you by giving you problems connecting to every site in the entire um, interweb. That way at least it's consistent, a consistent problem. So that's that's my new issue is I can't, my upload is just trash. <laughs> so yeah, my uh, bad mic quality could be, uh, you know, partly because I'm coming at you through Discord, partly because my upload is just terrible now. Thanks to my internet service provider. Just being wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, great customer support. Nice shot by Ahmad on the bounce. And notice that he's just calmly dissecting Joyo's defense here. Never all in. Just taking little wins here and there. And uh, eventually finding a way through. Now, Ahmad is a player who's got a rich one's history, like I mentioned. Didn't really do much on the near post defense here, though. Joyo with the outplay, Ahmad is watching over him. Um, but Ahmad, you know, despite his rich one's history, despite having a lot of success in the game mode in the past, he doesn't enjoy it. He, he's never been someone who enjoys 1v1 that much. Um, I've actually spoken to Kalan about this. Kalan has told me that he's tried to persuade Ahmad to play more ones, because uh, Kalan thinks, and I would agree, that if Ahmad really just put his mind to it, um, he could be one of the best 1v1 players. I absolutely think, you know, I, I agree with that. And if he could just get over his uh, mental block, he could certainly be one of the one, one of the best in the world. He's already competitive with the best in the world, despite not playing the game mode very often. But you need to be able to grind the game mode at least a little bit. Oh, man, chooses not to do that. To I think just uh, avoid hindering his enjoyment of the game, which I, I totally get. You know, if you don't enjoy one aspect of Rocket League training, if you don't enjoy 1v1, if you don't enjoy 2v2, if you don't enjoy free play, then, you know, doing too much of it is probably a mistake because you're just going to hurt your motivation. And as a pro player, you're going to most likely burn out eventually because um, you're just you're, you're doing things that you don't enjoy. So I've been asked the question a lot in the past, does 1v1 help 3v3? Does, does being good at 1v1 help your 3v3 game? And I think I always said the answer is yes. I even more so nowadays think the answer is yes. Um, but beside it being helpful, you know, if you if you don't enjoy it, then I think that any help it does give you will be outweighed um, by how much it's going to hinder your enjoyment of what you do, and that is being a professional player. So it's not essential. It is a great if you can do it though and now here we go I'm out in the show match scene show us having a better game in the Fennec I think I'm at still for the moment looks like the player in control of this game Joy will have an avail zero boost to 100 I'm at efficiently advances to the top corner and slots with 19 boost left and that's the problem of conceding the midfield to this guy Joyo can't cover the entire goal against Ahmad's aerial play. It's just not possible. No one can. With 2 minutes 18, he's in front in game number 2. A kickoff goal would be a nice way to double up. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Ahmad flicks top corner. Joyo didn't expect the shot to be coming at him that quickly. Looks like he was setting up for an in and out save, but didn't get it into position uh, until the shot was already across the line. Shout out, by the way, to Omnis for the 9-month tier 1, 14-month Prime from Ghost33, and OS10 with a 54-month tier 1. That's insane. And Iconic Alec with a 10-month Prime. Welcome back to you also. I think one of the biggest win conditions for Joyo in this matchup would be to play into exactly what we were talking about with Ahmad there, and that's try and make him hate this game. Try and, try and make him tilts off the face of the earth. We've absolutely seen a, a lot of big tilts from Ahmad in 1v1 in the past. We've seen him uh, you know, forfeit tournaments because he's just getting demoed a bunch. 
Um, I, I think, you know, Khaled's on the money when he says Ahmad could be one of the best in the world if he just put his mind to it. But he um, he, he, he does have to get over his, his tilt factor. I think Joyle could try and play into that a bit more if he wanted to. I don't think he's going to, but if he really wanted to just win this, uh, trying to demo a bunch, trying to chase a bunch would be smart. This is interesting. That's <laughs> somewhat effective. Joy with the flip, flip reset defense. He had pretty decent boost management there as well. Easy to sage. Thanks to the Prime. Welcome to the channel. Love that flip from Joyo to control the ball in the back corner. He's got to get moving though. Time is running out. That man is really squandering all his chances before they get started. But here's one flip for Joyo. He goes high to the top corner. I think he's just about going to recover. He had enough of the goal blocked and Ahmad shot early. And Joyo hiding in that near post area. Ahmad can see he's there, but great recovery from Joyo. And again, way dash into position. He's got the mid boost. Still, chance for Joyo to come back late in game number two. Wave dash, flick. Hamad's there to save it, but not there to dodge the demo. Can Joyo work this on target? Not before Hamad spawns. But after he spawns, he flicks it past him into the top corner. Great. Up of the ante here in the closing seconds from Joyo. Really pushing for the comeback. 15 seconds left. Hamad takes the kick off to the side wall. Now, will he go for a fifth goal here? Or will he just play it safely? He sees Joyo's early challenge coming towards him. And he manages to react well to it. Here's another early challenge coming towards him. And pops it into the open net. 5-3 will do it for Ahmad. It's no longer possible for Joyo to come back. And a good fight there. Definitely a level up from game one. He had more control. Still, I think, not as much control as uh, Ahmad did in the midfield. But an improvement undeniably there from Joyo. I think the Fennec is a, a good choice in this matchup. Ahmad's decision making has been on point. He hasn't looked tilted at all. He's just been consistent. Consistent enough at least uh, to suppress Joyo, really limit his options. When you're one v one Joyo and you come out in the spotlight, that's an impressive thing. Winning, of course, is expected. I think Ahmad is definitely the favorite on paper in this matchup. Um, but favorite to score more worldies. I mean, how many people are favorite to score more worldies in a 1v1 against Joyo? Not many. Has I noticed that Joyo's slow to come back here? It looks like he's just going to score quickly. He doesn't mind about Joyo's position. Impressive defense for Ahmad in the first 15 seconds. Joyo not getting his approach on the kickoff right there. Ahmad just wall dashes a couple of times into position. And effortlessly 50s the ball into a more advanced position. Really liked Ahmad's convincing ceiling plays, convincing wall plays today. When he does have a reset to work with, he always makes it look like he could use it. And some players, I think, they make it a bit too obvious that they never have any intention of using the reset that they've got. Um, but Ahmad just likes to pull it down behind the ball. Keeps his opponent thinking about it. Now, high reset for Joy. Really popped that one. He's going to get the boost seal, but Ahmad is right back on top of him before Joyo can turn and take the possession for himself. Now, here's Ahmad again. Joyo lunging in early. Oh, it's actually a fake. That's a really, really convincing fake challenge. Ahmad's not going to bite too hard on it, though. He moved the ball to the side to make sure that Joyo wouldn't have contact if he kept going. But look at what happens afterwards. Ahmad's still in control. This is such high level stuff from Ahmad to not bite on that fake challenge, which really did look so convincing. Run away with the possession and then chip it over Joyo, who is a bit stuck in no man's land there. Swag Frog, thanks to the 23 month year one. Welcome back to the channel. Marv, thanks to the brand new Fry. Such a devastatingly co composed performance from Ahmad today. Joyo's really got to start winning some kickoffs, at least not, not losing kickoffs. A bit better. In fact, that's a lot better. Open net for Joyo. He slots it calmly. See, a bit of attention there to what Joyo did. He switched from the right side to the left side of the ball and then flipped right. Now, is he going to do that again? He's on the right side here, so will he get left side of the ball and then flip to the right? No, he's going to switch sides, and I'm not sure I agree with that. I think he probably should have stuck to the winning strategy there. Nice early challenge. 
sends the ball off Ahmad's backboard, but Joyal's there to steal the boost. He's there to beat him to the punch in the near post area as well. Ahmad's completely out of boost here. Joyal forcing him into an awkward position, but unable to get a lot of acceleration with the flip reset, and unlike Ahmad, he's a lot more all in, no continuation, no follow up plan. Here, double bump from Ahmad, looks like it might have connected. No doubt about where the ball ended up. Let's see Joyo's POV here. Did he get a bit of contact? Yes, he did. He got slammed into the crossbar right before he could make a touch on the ball. Ahmad with a fade kickoff now. He's winning the game. He just wants to make sure that he gets into midfield play where he feels comfortable. Had a good read on what Joyo's capable of today. Joyo's been trying every trick that he's got, especially with the recoveries, the little wave dashes and pre-flips that he's had defensively. Another fake ceiling challenge from Joyo. Not able to get the boost seal afterwards though. I say boost seal, it's actually a boost secure, I suppose. Joyo is messing with Ahmad's approach, at least enough to stop the first shot going on target, but he's not securing that corner boost afterwards. He's got to get that back corner boost and then get his car to safety to make that fake challenge worth it, to make that defensive play go in his favor. Joyo's actually got a bit of a bump there. He takes his time, he's looking at my game, Ahmad, no work. That's a near post here for Joyo. Love the idea, but the execution was slightly lacking, and here comes Ahmad again. He's looking to put the game beyond all doubt. He's giving Joyo a bit of space here. Nice turn there from Joyo. He will get a boost seal for his trouble. Ahmad somehow <laughs> managing to recover from a failed wall dash. Even with a little boost. It looks like you can read exactly what Joyo's up to. Joyo might be able to make some distance here though. Free flip into the reset. He didn't get it. Ahmad's all over him. Another chance for Joyo. Reset secured. He used it early. Ahmad's I think scared him into an early move there. Ahmad says no thank you to the near post rebound. Quite happy sitting on his four goal lead at the moment. He's giving Joyo another wall play to work with. Can Joyo get anything going? That's a perfect flick. Reset is decent, but Ahmad's right in the way of him. Every time Joyo comes forward, Ahmad just seems to know exactly where he needs to be. Masterful defense once again, reading what Joyo's up to. He's had low boost for several of these attacks. And uh, he's still stopping Joyo short, and now one goes completely wrong for Joyo. Ahmad slots the open net bottom left, and that should just about do it. Joyo just hasn't been able to get into his zone today. I think a lot of that has to do with how well Ahmad's defended. He made Joyo second guess himself. He's made Joyo hesitate on a lot of these offensive plays, whereas usually Joyo, whenever he's got a reset, just has full confidence that he's going to score. Whenever he's got an air dribble, he has full confidence that he's going to outplay his opponent. But Ahmad has got him thinking that there's just no way past. And he might be right. Holding Joyo to just one goal here. Too fast. Too clean with the reads. Too consistent. Doesn't matter how much boost he's got. Seems to always be enough. 7-1. Ahmad. Just scoring with every single opportunity that he gets right now. Well, at one end of the pitch, we've got Ahmad reading Joyo's moves. At the other, Joyo just can't get a good read on Ahmad's. He is too slick. He's too tricky. It's another fantastic touch from Ahmad as well. He's buying himself enough time to get 100 boost in the back corner. Now the hover challenge. Just keep the Joyo at bay once more. Let him lift the ball to his backboard. And try to preserve this 7-1 lead. Nine boosts against 100. This is... Pretty much what we've been watching for the past two minutes. Ahmad showing how to deal with uh, one of the best aerial attackers in the world. Even when you don't have boost to your name. Now is Joyo going to end? He's going to put an end to the 7-1. No, he's not. Ahmad might keep this up though and try to do so himself. GG's. It wasn't Joyo's day today. He couldn't get rolling. Large part due to Ahmad's success. Just in every aspect of this 1v1. Offense, more than on point. Defense. Just reading one of the best in the game, making it look normal for him. But midfield control is what really, I think, made this an uncomfortable matchup for, for Joyo.